Um, so good morning, everyone. Um, so happy to, to present you uh, some uh, slides um, regarding uh, the uh, solid state uh, for medical imaging. Um, uh, it's the first objective. The second objective is to keep my voice okay because I'm uh, a little bit ill. I hope it will be okay for the 30 minutes. Um, <clears throat> just um, uh, the, for your information, uh, so it's um, uh, the um, uh, information we are uh, currently uh, uh, aggregating, building for uh, our uh, daily anal analysis. So, first of all, an introduction, your development. If you don't know uh, the company, uh, we are market and technology and strategy uh, consulting company. Um, our field of play is uh, um, uh, around those areas from uh, sensors, uh, power electronics, photonics, uh, batteries, uh, and for us today, the medtech activity, medical technologies. We are a global company, so we are located in France. It's our headquarters. <coughs> we have uh, most of our uh, activity uh, um, made in, in Europe, uh, but share also with uh, uh, for 30 percent uh, each uh, overseas uh, in US, uh, where we have uh, one office and two offices uh, in uh, uh, Asia, uh, mainly in Japan and now uh, Taiwan, not Korea. Um, for your also your understanding, as we are mentioning also sister companies we are working with, um, System Plus that uh, is a reverse costing and reverse engineering companies, we are working very closely together uh, regarding the reverse costing of components and uh, uh, mainly NOMADE for the patent analysis. <coughs> the services we are offering, uh, as Martin said, uh, we have the um, technology and market reports in our fields of activity, the one I present to you, but uh, we have also custom studies, uh, we are doing some media activities and uh, finance uh, activities re related to M&A or uh, due diligence. What about the macro systems uh, uh, environment? Um, so in the medical field, we can uh, find micro systems um, quite everywhere from patient monitoring to uh, pharmaceutical research uh, under the format of uh, microfluidic uh, systems, biochips, biomems, uh, sensors for wellness and uh, people uh, at home for monitoring, uh, 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 drug delivery and uh, imaging uh, devices, uh, that is uh, the topic for today, for those two days. So if you are looking now the presentation, the representation uh, of, the, uh, um, of the electromagnetic spectrum, we can uh, have quite all our uh, modalities here, going to nuclear imaging, CT scan, the for the X-ray uh, globally and CT scan, for example, endoscopy and OCT for the vis visible ultrasound uh, uh, here. What is solid state? Let's introduce a little bit more uh, what is a solid state. I know you are quite familiar with this, but uh, we are uh, uh, going from uh, devices that are made of uh, gas, liquids, detectors, for example, that uh, going to semiconductor uh, devices like that, and these are made of one uh, piece of uh, silicone, silicone or one piece of semiconductor uh, component, uh, com um, components, material uh, with the electronic, and the readout is uh, just after. So this is just a, a, a very simple introduction of the solid state. Here it's uh, to show you uh, how the imaging is developing and how the sem semiconductor technologies is contributing to digital imaging and how the synergies uh, uh, occurred in between uh, those two words. So uh, digital imaging uh, has uh, um, used the <coughs> semiconductor technologies uh, and the solid state uh, devices to uh, improve 
improve uh, what we know today, uh, the uh, uh, quality of images, uh, the performance of the systems, the power, uh, uh, low power uh, requirements for some of uh, the uh, devices used in uh, medical imaging. Here is the first overview I would like to share with you. It's the whole, um, uh, the whole medical imaging market, equipment market. So this is um, a first estimation we have. Uh, we are at the level of a $20 billion market for the whole uh, modalities that are presented there. We are not focusing for all of those modalities. Uh, microscopy uh, on our side is quite big. However, we are not investigating too much here. It's uh, not um, where we find a lot of, uh, uh, um, in, I mean, innovation. Uh, so we prefer to, uh, to be out of uh, microscopy. I'm not also speaking directly about MRI alone. It's mostly uh, the combination in multi-modalities that is interesting for nuclear uh, imaging. So this is one of the representation with uh, the bubble uh, that has the uh, size of the market. Here, in a nutshell, um, you will see how we are dealing with the um, solid states we are, um, uh, we are analyzing at your development. So we have uh, the level of integration presented here. So from the equipment, or depending if it's bottom up or top down, but from the equipment, you have the camera module that is inside and uh, our field of play here, or again, is the components, the device, what we name at the first level packaging. So it means that it's a piece of uh, uh, silicone um, that is ready to be connected uh, with the packaging to the external world. And if we are looking briefly or with a, yeah, a, 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 a big angle, uh, we can see that uh, we have the 20 billion market of the equipment. All the detectors could represent about $2 billion and we have approximately $200 million <laughs> for the uh, detector, the image sensor themselves. So it means that we have approximately a 10% uh, each uh, for all, but I mean from detectors that could be inside big machine and I'm speaking also from endoscopes, OCT, etc. So it's very different type of equipment. The key challenges uh, of in the medical imaging is also leading the um, solid state uh, and the, the integration of solid state in, inside uh, uh, the equipment uh, for medical imaging. And if we are looking at the key challenges, all are not here uh, mention for sure there is a lot, but the key challenges we can uh, have um, today in healthcare um, linked to medical imaging is the uh, aging population, the uh, disease impact, cancer is one, um, uh, cost for healthcare, and also the reduction of number of physicians. And yesterday during the roundtable we discussed also something interesting is also uh, that some areas uh, are not well covered today uh, by physicians or operators like isolated area or development countries. So this is uh, some part of the challenge. And uh, for that, the requirements that are uh, uh, front of this uh, is for the aging population more examination, but uh, with the patient safety uh, and lower uh, impact of exam. In the solid state, the, re the, the response will be miniaturization uh, to have more and more uh, modalities. Uh, so the multimodalities could give more information to uh, physicians. So we need to have some uh, immunity of the systems uh, uh, for, for that purpose. 
Um, miniaturization will also um, have an impact on the price of the, and the cost of the system. Um, the serial manufacturing that uh, could be realized uh, with semiconductor technologies, with CMOS technologies, uh, could have improvement. We could have, I know, discussions about this because for sure high volumes are needed to decrease the price. Anyway, we will see later that the improvement from other uh, development for other applications are also leading to um, lower cost of the, of, the, of the system, of the, of the device. Low power consumption, low power consumption, uh, solid state uh, could impact the, the consumption of uh, the devices and in certain application uh, we can uh, now uh, think about uh, uh, going into emergency uh, emergency uh, uh, applications where you need to have handheld systems. The low power, the low power uh, uh, requirements are also leading to that. So, going into a few details, the, uh, the first question we get was the new wave of innovation. So, um, I will start with uh, uh, the endoscope uh, and the miniaturization of cameras. There is a decrease uh, in, in die size. Uh, this uh, decrease uh, will allow new type of uh, uh, endoscope um, uh, functionality. Uh, and the example, uh, I put the example of uh, IYBA, so uh, AMS uh, group. And um, here you have the NAN-I uh, camera. So this very, very uh, small uh, camera, I think you will present it <laughs> later. <laughs> uh, in this, uh, with this uh, miniaturization, you can have now system like chip on the tip uh, to the endoscopes. Uh, for example, uh, there is uh, one from Opcon here for Shirley for rigid endoscopes, and you can see that the endoscopes is ready <coughs> to act with a camera just at the distal end of the endoscope. Um, advantage of that, uh, you will have um, endoscope with uh, CMOS image sensors directly or uh, at the distal end, so the quality uh, is, uh, um, is improved. Uh, the, uh, Endoscope is not using uh, fibers, optical fibers that are, that are inside the endoscopes. Uh, this is also a question of uh, a capability of the fiber, optical fibers uh, and uh, with no optical fibers inside for the mobility of the system. So flexible endoscopes uh, could, uh, could find any good advantage uh, in, in non-using <coughs> Uh, fiber, optical fibers, uh, and also the quality of the image. For the, uh, sorry, for the rigid endoscopes, it's also the possibility to add more uh, uh, cameras, two cameras on the uh, endoscopes and to uh, have 3D stereo uh, uh, image for the, the, the surgeon. So you see here also how the system could now have a flexibility also and could go really turn into the organs. What is also possible with the miniaturization is that open new, uh, uh, new possibilities, new market, the market for disposable systems. And those disposable systems are now increasing quite, uh, 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 quite quickly. Um, we all know now the pill cams, and the pill cams are adding more and more cameras. Um, for example, this one with four CMOS cameras inside. So the miniaturization, again, I, I, I told you earlier, miniaturization could go to lower costs. And those lower costs, we have an example here, a disposable system with more cameras inside. Um, here. Some devices that are now more and more used is the disposable 
uh, endoscopic systems. We can also find all the, the, the um, applications here for uh, point of care at the doctor uh, office, for example. They can use now some system like that. They don't have the whole facility that an hospital could have for steri sterilization uh, and to avoid cross-contamination. So this is a good also improvement. Um, there is some uh, uh, new surg sur for surgery, laparoscopic or orthopedics, uh, uh, rigid uh, endoscopes now developed also. The patient safety, need, it means also lower dose and better performance for the diagnosis. So yesterday we covered quite well uh, this area, uh, but it's just to remind you that uh, from the CMOS uh, uh, flat panel display uh, that, were, was, uh, that, were, um, in, uh, that, that were introduced in, 2000, uh, in the, the year 2000 uh, first, uh, there is also uh, some gem to go to silico single photon counting, and we have heard and understood yesterday that uh, uh, the uh, most uh, important is the spectral uh, imaging we can have with uh, single photon counting. So all the big players are working on that, uh, Siemens, G, uh, and Philips. So some uh, images from uh, clinical tests uh, in progress uh, currently. Another type of applications where solid state could uh, find uh, uh, good opportunities. Here is very interesting because we discuss about the improvement of the solid state uh, miniaturization, uh, lower dose uh, th th through a better performance. But here uh, we are clearly work, uh, looking at a, a system that is going through bulk PZT um, probe that is here to a new system that is uh, using the MEMS technology. Uh, so MEMS technology is a micro, uh, me micro electromechanical systems, so it means moving parts, and it's the capacitive micro machine ultrasonic transducer. Um, this uh, type of uh, 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 sensor is made of a membrane that is uh, vibrating and it's all based on uh, silicone. So this is um, quite uh, and, uh, interesting because there is some advantages. We said the weight and the high miniaturization possible compared to the bulk, uh, the bulk PZT uh, before. But anyway, there is also some uh, good improvement in terms of uh, image. The um, angle you can cover with a CMUT that is uh, different from the PZT. So this is also one of the possible improvements uh, in, uh, uh, in ultrasound applications. Um, again, silicon photomultiplier, I think yesterday you have you had a, a, a good, um, <clears throat> a good um, visibility of what is going on in nuclear imaging. Uh, what I would like to highlight is the multimodalities. This is the first, uh, um, it's, this is a good example of multimodalities using PET, uh, PET MR because of the electromagnetic uh, disturbance uh, for the uh, tubes here and going to the silicon photomultipliers, solid state they are, that are immune to uh, those, uh, uh, those fields, those electromagnetic fields. Um, what is interesting is that uh, we have several PET uh, systems that are based uh, now, PET MR systems, but also uh, hybrid, other hybrid systems that could benefit from the change, and we can expect that the, the photo uh, multiplier tubes will uh, um, more and more uh, disappear to uh, have silicon photomultiplier replacing them. Some, uh, um, some focus on the uh, manufacturing uh, capabilities. Uh, this is also something improving. Um, we have 
are in the manufacturing ca uh, capabilities of the CMOS, um, uh, the possibility to make some 3D stacking of wafers. So this is also improving in terms of miniaturization, efficiency. Um, we, um, sh we can have here the stack of different wafers and uh, this is uh, now possible also to uh, use the BSI, so the backside illumination, thanks to those uh, uh, manufacturing capabilities. Mm, backside illuminations compared to front side illumination is a good um, uh, opportunity to avoid uh, some uh, blockage of the lights coming inside the wafer uh, because of the different layers you have in the wafer. So backside illumination concentrate all and capture the photons inside, um, inside the wafer and is going directly to the sensor. So increasing uh, the efficiency. Efficiency that is also uh, now better um, with the TSV, uh, so the through silicon vias um, that you have in between the wafers and we will go to some uh, hybrid copper-copper uh, <coughs> uh, stacking, uh, bonding, uh, in between uh, the wafers from the interconnection. We see this in uh, uh, the Samsung S7 uh, mobile phone, and again, and it will be the next slide, um, we can see that, for example, the switch from CCD to CMOS uh, uh, is going from high volume to low volume and exactly the same, all that is uh, done in high volumes could benefit. I don't say that it will, but it could benefit to lower volumes uh, to have the same type of sensors and to use the packaging uh, and interconnect uh, uh, capabilities that are one of the key criteria uh, for CMOS sensors. Okay, so now going to the market, a little <coughs> bit more to the market. So um, we can see that there is for CMOS image sensors some um, difference if we are uh, segmented a little bit. All that is related to the X-ray um, are really uh, low volume, but as you can imagine, with the size of the sensor, the uh, X-ray FPD uh, uh, CMOS uh, sensor, so we have higher price, higher uh, average selling price. Um, if we are going to the endoscopes, we have more units, still uh, in the range of medical imaging, and not mobile phones, but we have higher uh, volumes, but the um, low value of the system, the CMOS sensor, is really uh, cheaper in the range of uh, $8, for example, $7, $8, uh, the CMOS sensor. <coughs> Just a segmentation quickly, because I will focus on uh, some markets, endoscope markets, for example. Um, we have four types of uh, application in this in endoscope market, rigid, flexible, disposable, that are partially now the rigid and flexible endoscopes, and the other endoscopy style, camera peels that are not the true endoscopy, but uh, another type of endoscopy that you know. If we are looking at the market, this is to assess the interest of CMOS image sensor uh, in uh, medical imaging. If we are looking this, and we are doing this to uh, all the type of markets, we can see how the solid state, solid state is largely used for endoscopes, quite 100% used in endoscopes, but we can see that internally the different technologies are uh, competing, so the CCD uh, the CCD uh, uh, cameras and the CMOS based cameras. If we are looking at the, uh, not the emerging, but the, the, uh, uh, the, the standard endoscopy, we have seen that the, the C, uh, CD cameras were really, really uh, um, dominating the market. Um, this is 
First, because uh, uh, there is the history, but secondly, because there is also a big player, Olympus, uh, that has uh, during a long time used the um, uh, CCD cameras. We expect some shift coming after 2018, and as Olympus start also to uh, replace with CMOS uh, cameras, we expect that we have, we will start to have a decline in market for the CCD cameras. For imaging endoscopy, we can see that CMOS cameras are already uh, really uh, well used in uh, endoscopes. We have about 13.3% uh, uh, annual growth rate for the next uh, five years, uh, six years, uh, in, in this uh, market. So CMOS uh, technologies, uh, CMOS imaging sensors uh, are really uh, going well in this market. So looking at the, the penetration or looking at the market share between CCD and uh, CMOS, so we can see easily the difference between them. I'm not going too much on that, we see on the previous slide, but the exercise is exactly the same for X-ray market. If uh, we are taking into account the um, X-ray medical uh, and X-ray dental, uh, static, uh, so for medical static, uh, mammography, uh, and uh, a dynamic uh, system. So we can see that we have still our CCD that is decreasing. The amorphous silicone here and the CMOS that is growing. Um, penetration so of the CMOS is really interesting compared to CCD. Amorphous silicone will keep um, quite um, flat at the moment in terms of market, uh, still growing in terms of unit, uh, but there is no competition today for the very big uh, panels. The panels used the more than 30 centimeter and, and, and uh, up to 40 centimeter, by 40 centimeter. Amorphous silicone is still the technology. However, uh, all related to mammography now, so the um, uh, uh, C-arm uh, with the intensifier used using CCD cameras uh, are now replaced step by step by CMOS technology. Re looking at the X-ray dental, it's a reverse situation. Um, the, the size are smaller, so we can see directly that uh, with smaller size, the CMOS technology start to be very interesting. Why? Because CMOS technology uh, with a big, big uh, sensor, the yield is a very big issue, is a very big challenge, and we can be at the level of 50% uh, uh, of yield uh, for this application for X-ray, dental, smaller size, better yield, so the, the cost decrease. And for example, for an X-ray dental uh, uh, intraoral system, we are at the level uh, of uh, 100, $150 uh, for the, uh, the system like we have here. If we are looking at the different markets, so this is the CMOS image sensor cells, so at the first level packaging, and uh, we uh, can see that all that is related to X-ray um, medical are quite uh, increasing and uh, high in the um, uh, market, uh, and endoscopy is quite uh, close to the five million dollar, only the device, huh? okay? Uh, if we are going to the situation of the volumes, it will be completely a uh, reversed situation because the volumes are very uh, important here, uh, mainly with the disposable system and the uh, um, uh, camera peels. However, the cost is uh, of the silicone, um, the, the CMOS image sensor is quite uh, low compared to this. So that's why the market is, is uh, different. So just <clears throat> to show you that uh, if we are looking at the market, 
Um, and, and looking here at the representation, we see that CMOS uh, field of uh, flat panel display, sorry, uh, is quite growing on both direction. Will be very difficult to go very far in uh, uh, competing with uh, amorphous silicone. However, with the CCD, it starts really to be uh, a challenge. So this is solid state uh, technologies together. But however, it's uh, also interesting to see how those technologies compete to, uh, uh, together. Looking at the other solid state assessment, so we are preparing at the moment and building, uh, as I told you, analysis about that, um, about medical imaging, nuclear imaging. So we have seen uh, the silicon photomultiplier. Uh, we can say that the growth will be very uh, huge uh, in the coming years to replace uh, the photo uh, multiplier tubes with um, Amamatsu and Sensel that are the leaders in this, uh, in this market. Ultrasound imaging, the probes uh, uh, that will also be at the level of uh, two digits with Tronics and Colo that are uh, two uh, main um, uh, players in this uh, field. Tronics Microsystems is uh, a manufacturer of MEMS uh, um, sensors. And OCT, OCT that uh, will also replace, uh, uh, that will um, uh, use the CMOS image sensor uh, and replace the CCD cameras. So this is also a competing, competing into the, the same area. Okay, so just to highlight, it's a tentative, just to show where we have a strong interest in the ultrasound nuclear imaging, where the solid state are really improving, uh, the, uh, or I expect it to improve the system for the reason we have already told before. OCT that is uh, quite close to this area, and otoscope that is already using silicone um, solid state, but endoscope will also have the opportunity to create new products thanks to solid state technologies. Just to show you that um, uh, the, um, to do that, the industry is still uh, structuring, uh, still in consolidation steps. So uh, we have a lot of uh, companies now that are in the uh, process of uh, merger and acquisition to acquire the best technology and to be uh, present in the medical imaging. The last one was uh, Teledyne Dalza E2V two days ago. Okay, so conclusion about that, about all that. So medical imaging is for sure driven by healthcare challenges today and solid state could reply and could answer uh, those challenges. Um, the solid state technology uh, could uh, have improvements thanks to the effort in non-medical uh, imaging. Uh, for example, the CMOS image sensor market that is uh, improving in performance and cost. Uh, but we have also some market pool. Uh, uh, the first was market, the, the, the technology push, but here market pool from the uh, uh, nuclear imaging uh, where PMT uh, could not be used, so we need to have a solution. We expect about $110 million for the CMOS image sensor. Uh, it's a really a minimum, it's uh, quite conservative, and we think that this will, uh, the solid state, global solid state imaging uh, uh, devices will double in 2016, and industry consolidation are still going on at the moment. Thank you very much.